And we are off underway as McNamara plays the ball and it will go long. Pete with a comfortable header. It comes back to McNamara who heads it backwards. There is flight. Step into the penalty area low and it's blocked by Hall. Jerome gets there. Everyone seems to miss the ball. It comes to Pete who scoops it towards the back stick where Hockenhall was waiting. It comes to Fogarty who looked to try and lift it over to Hockenhall who was not. St. Helens get the ball away, however, Hockenhull is there, and that was a bad challenge by Thomas McNamara. I think Barry want, certainly wants something from that, don't they, Luca? Yeah, I think they have they have every right to be asking for potentially more than just a warning there. Very late challenge from the St. Helens player on Ben Hockenhull, but Barry have another free kick in a good position. In the far corner, no, he's moved away from the ball. It's Brian Lee, who goes for it. Forces a save out of Joe Mason. And it has gone for a corner ball. It was not kept in. Thomas First corner of the game. Might get round his man. Very good tackle in the end from Scarborough and it will be a throw into Berry on the halfway line. on and Pedro has nicked it off a Beto and plays it into the area. Brian Lee with a big touch. Cleared away. Fogarty battling very well. Carroll gets away with it and here is Fogarty. Come on, Barry. But he's just nicked back and that's another good challenge. And Carroll plays it to Sherrera. Here is Sherrera just over the crossbar. It's built relatively um, largely. A lot of big plays in there and there is the ball to the back stick. And Pedro was coming in and just glances it wide of that far post. He wants a corner, but he's I don't think he's going to get it, really, is he, Luca? It will be a goal kick. It will be a goal kick. It definitely came off his head and only his head. Obviously, it plays it to flight. The McNamara. Ball. Good challenge by Pete. Barry get this away with Connor Pye. Here's Torreira driving over the halfway line. Good skill. Fucking hole. The head flight brings it down. And there's the challenge by Carroll, and this is where Barry looked to break. It's a through ball to Pedro, thinks the keeper! And a barrier in front! DJ Pedro with his second very goal, capitalising on the St. Helens mistake. 34 minutes in, Barry 1 0. And what a goal it was! What an absolutely brilliant through ball it was! From, I believe it was Bobby Carroll into the into the feet of DJ Pedro and he just dinked the keeper beautifully, taking advantage of that five foot ten frame from Joe Mason in the in the St. Helen sticks. He gets his second goal since joining Berry, and it's the least they deserve. Berry won St. Helen's now 34 minutes in. Yeah, excellent. Here's Pedro. Beto all over it there. Pedro gets away. The referee. Blows for the free kick. I would expect a booking here. Although, admittedly, Pedro, I think he made a bit of a meal of it, but nevertheless, he was caught. Well, like you said before, where there's a blame, there's a claim. And I think he's, he's he, like you say, he's gone down very easily, but he had every reason to. He was getting held back quite bad there from, I believe it was a veto. There was a little bit of pushing and shoving there, just a moment ago, to Beto. And let's just hope that DJ Pedro is all right here on the floor. Receiver treatment hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully he'll be back on his feet in a few seconds. Let's hope so. Let's just talk about goal again really quickly, Luca. Beautiful interception there. Okay. See, Brian Lee hit one already in this game from a similar distance. And he's going to do so again. It moves a lot. And it goes into the arms of Mason fairly comfortably. He didn't need to get up high for that one. It's all been very cool. Header straight at Allen. Now here come Berries Gomez running forward. Finds Lee. It's Torreira. Pedro pulls it back. 
point at the police collection step ends. Everything's happening in the penalty area. And somehow St. Helens has survived that scare. The Fogarty is pulled down, the referee doesn't give it. It's a free kick to St. Helens. Fogarty on top of the ball to outrage and outroar from the, the fans around us. Gomez. And it's a four on three if Berry can use it. Here is Brian Lee. Just over the top of the crossbar. And they can work with about four or five. Um, seems almost like they have been playing with a bit of a sort of four two four really. Everyone seems to be four, not much midfield. It's head clear by Pedro. That is the half time whistle. Berry have played this really well. One big chance to go for. DJ Pedro made by Bobby Carroll. Barry find themselves in front on Bob Fire Night. It's 1 0 half time. Two more antics like we saw at the end of that half as Brian Lee gets this one away. Straight, straight back to Mitch Hallam, who looks to send it long, and it goes out for a, a St. Helens throw in. That oh, had, uh, the throw in was poor, and the ball comes into Brian Lee oh. here. Oh, and the ball's just parried wide to the post. Great save. Yeah, and it's a good start for Berry, a promising start, what, what, what they want to be seeing. Keep putting pressure all on the St. Helens defence. Delivery, good punch out there by Mason, but it comes straight back out to Brian Lee. Another ball into the box, knocked on by Hockenholm, and Pedro is the first man to get the ball there. And he plays it out to Dwayne Rustam Steppens. And here's Chirera trying to do something with it, but he's unable to, and all of a sudden it's a bit of a three versus two situation here for St. Helens running down the left hand side. Thomas Scarborough as he's beating his man, and that's absolutely brilliant defended there. Absolutely brilliant defending by Bobby Carroll, who gets the ball back to Mitch Allen, who's able to pick it up. Barker can't win the head and either can Hall, but Hall's on the ball now, brought down just outside the centre circle in Berry's defensive half. As the ball comes into the Berry box, and those tall heads. Whoa! Oh, how is it spilt in? It's spilt in, and Barker reels away in celebration. Mitch Allen and the rest of the Berry defence looking confused at the referee who doesn't want anything to do with the complaints. Inside, sorry. Stefan's making some good grounds. Just loses his foot in a little bit and gets forced into uh, gets forced into dragging the St. Helens player down there for the free kick. Yeah. And I do believe that is the third yellow card of the game now. Vito Gomez, brilliant sliding challenge there by Liam Cuthbert. From St. Hannes, he wins himself a free kick. Vito Gomez not seeming happy with the referee's decision there because he gets a yellow card. That's the third yellow card now for a very player. Here is St. Hannes in now with a great chance. Oh, and it's very unlucky there. The ball across from Josh Hall was absolutely perfect. The ball over the top and Chimera has come out of it here. And it's a great ball into Brian Lee. Oh. Not to be scored and Rustam Steppens on the rebounds has his shot blocked. But Rustam Steppens has it on the left hand side now as he beats his man. He's in that pace and it's a great touch there oh. by the Pedro and it's really unlucky. The, great. the pass back to him was just a little bit too behind him. It was the DJ Pedro who would take it right here now.
this ball going straight to the back post. And it's off the side netting. It's off the side netting and it was a pretty clear header to be honest. Decisions that obviously the people around us might not be too friendly with. But he's been well and it's a good ball in. And the glancing header. This here's Gooden, the second half substitute, looking to try and create something. He puts a great ball in actually. And it's a brilliant ball in the header wins. Absolutely vital there. Is normal number nine. Rocking the number 17 today, he puts a brilliant ball into the box and there's a collision between the keeper and DJ Pedro. And they're going to give it the way of the keeper, Joe Mason. Any minute now, Barry could be taking the lead. Oh, and it's a great save. He has his shirt held back initially. In swinging on this near-hand side, he puts in a great ball and it's punched away. Out for another corner. Will you get it? It is. Oh, and how has that not gone in either? Not seeing any indicator of added time at the moment, which would be confusing. And there's another offside called in here against FC St. Pettens. Ethan Van Aston offside, getting putting the ball in the back of the net and then ultimately picking up the yellow card. They're resuming play after it was called dead. It's on the attack here, Liam Payton has it on the right hand side, has a oh. shot, and oh. it's a good hand by Mitch Allen! Oh, and how, 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 how have they gotten away with that berry at the end? The tactical cramp nearly helping St. Helens there. And it's a flat throw in into the foot of a berry player as the referee sounds his whistle. Here in Leeds brings this game to an end to an end of what has been an end-to-end -end game, back and forth, back and forth, pinball football, very finishing at Gig Lane here, 1-1 against St. Helens. I'm